just a simple analogy of how an export business can take someone that is at the lower head of income to a higher head. Let me just give you, let's assume that we have a simple simple analogy of how an export business can take someone that is at the lower head of income to a higher head. Let me just give you, let's assume that we have a simple case study of Mr. Sonny that he desired to export snail from Nigeria to a place like in the UK. Simple. I want you to just look at this little analogy and at the end of it you'll find out there's a more reason why you should be involved in export business. Let me assume Mr. Sonny works with the Ministry of Education and he has 70,000 naira and he says, I cannot be able to use this to use long lasting wealth. I want to go into the importation, exportation of snail. An average snail in Nigeria, in Nigeria, average snail in Nigeria could be just 200 naira, 200 naira. Let me assume Mr. Sonny said, okay, I want to go in and source for this product so that I will be able to be exporting this product from Nigeria to the UK or to the United States. I'm going to give you just a simple a simple analogy of what Mr. Sonny will aim in a span of two to three weeks as he goes through the process. Mr. Sonny goes to the village, goes to the village somewhere within within Ondo State to buy to buy a snail, an average size snail. An average size snail in our market, in our local market, has always sold in a basket. And the average price of the, bas of the, of the snail in the basket is within the range of 8,000 naira. Whereas an average basket has a minimum of 40 snails in a basket. Let me say this, Mr. Sony goes to the market to buy a to buy snail and the average size, an average size snail, and the price of a basket when we have a minimum of 40 is 8,000 naira. 8,000 naira plus for one basket. Baskets of snail. And Mr. Sonny, go ahead, buy one basket. And Mr. Sonny has made all his mind for this first treatment. I'm going to send a minimum of a crates. And a crates composed of 20 average 200 sorry average size of snail mr sonny said okay i want to i want to i want to take one crate of snail to the united kingdom i want to look up average size is eight thousand naira, and for one bag for one uh, basket and to get i said a crate is about 200 pieces of snail in a crate and mr sonny and made his mind to send 200 pieces of snail, which is one crate to the United Kingdom. Mr. Sonny, all you need to do is just to get, he said, 40 snail in a basket, 40 snail in one basket, and Mr. Sonny wants a crate. So, what Mr. Sonny will do is 40 times 5 gets 200 pieces of snail. 200 pieces of snail. And Mr. Sonny, once I said 800, 8,000 per crates. So let's say 8,000 naira times 5,000 naira times 5, sorry, Mr. Sonny, we have 40,000 naira. So Mr. Sonny has procured, has been able to get one crates for one crates. Now, when you hear one crates, one crates, I'm not talking about a crate of a minute, I'm actually talking about a crates. Crate of snake, not talking about a crate, a crate of uh, hair or whatever, a crate of snake. Normally, exporting a snail from this country is always, uh, they're always crated. So that's why I'm using the word crates. Now, look up. Mr. Sonny now was able to procure one crate of snail from our local market for 40,000 naira. He has gotten a crate that is 200 pieces of snail, an average size snail. Then Mr. Sonny go ahead and say, okay, I've already gotten the one crate of snail. I want to go ahead and export this one snail, of cre uh, a crate of snail. Now, there are procedures, there are 
some certain expenses Mr. Sony is going to procure in the process of exporting this name to the United Kingdom. There are documentations, like for example, Mr. Sony will need to pay for the crates itself, need to create his crates, pay for those that will create that will build the crates. Four thousand naira to build the crates. Look up. Four thousand naira to build the crates. Mr. Sony will also go to Nigeria Agric Ministry of Agriculture. I mean the Federal Ministry of Agriculture under uh, the quarantine service under the Federal Ministry of Agriculture, Mr. Uh, Sony will pay for the quarantine service. The quarantine service will charge Mr. Sony to give him a quarantine certificate for those snails for 20,000 naira. Also, Mr. Sony will go ahead also to that same ministry because they are the ones saddled with the responsibility when it has to do with livestock. They will say, okay, Mr. Sony will also pay for fumigations for, so that those crates will be fumigated from paste and rodents. So Mr. Sony will pay for 13,000, will also pay 13,000 naira for 13,000, 13,500, sorry, for the fumigations. The quarantine, quarantine, the crates, then QT, quarantine. Then afterward, you will pay for the fumigations, fumigation. Then, another very important thing is the Sony is going to cargo this product from Nigeria down to whatever country. Normally, an average price of a tonnage of a, of a kilogram when you're using the airline, the cargo airline, the average price, I want you to get this, the average price is 350 naira. 350 naira per kg for the cargo in. Cargo for 350 naira times. Let's say the average, uh, the average weight, the average weight of a crate is within 100 kg to 150 kg. Let's use the highest average. So we are going to use the 150. So when you times 350, 350 to 1, 150, you get something about 52,000. 52,000. Yeah, that will be 52,500 naira. 52,500 naira. When we add all this together, we're going to be having a total of 110,000. Remember, they are, the price for the principal product is 40,000 naira. So when you put everything together, 40,000 naira plus 110,000 naira will have about 150,000 naira. Now remember, we well, we don't just go into a business without putting what we call contingencies. So let's assume we are going to have a contingencies, a contingencies of about 20,000 naira. So Mr. Sony is going to be spending for buying the product and all the procedure that is involved in the product is going to be having about is going to be spending about one hundred and seventy thousand naira. Wow, it's just one hundred and seventy thousand naira. You know the the idea is he has spent one hundred and seventy thousand naira. A curious person will ask me, what will it take us? What will it take Mr. Sony? How much will Mr. Sony use in selling, you know, the snail? It's so funny. Let me give you the magic in this matter. An average snail in the United Kingdom, or in the United States, as the case may be, is 100, 825. An average uh, price of snail, four pieces of snail, is about one, two hundred, uh, $25, sorry, $25. And in the wholesales, the price of a crate, an average crate, because Mr. Sony is not going to be sending it there and be selling it retail. He's going to be selling it to major optical that buy themselves and in turn sell it to you know the consumer. So Mr. Sony may uh, the average sales of a crate in the United States or the United Kingdom is within the range. You know, we normally use the dollar, the dollar equivalent in international trade. So it's, it's within the reason one thousand one thousand American dollars. An average exchange rate for uh, today's exchange rate or the regular exchange rate for now is within 360 in naira or 362. Let's don't use 360. 360. 360,000 naira. Mr. Sony is selling the crates, the crates of that average size of his nails for 360,000 naira. Simple. You already have 
a figures here, you know, figures like they say, never lies. You can see all the steps. And now when you get to 360, 360,000 naira in our local currency, which is naira, you just subtract the 170, the, sorry, minus the 170,000 naira from the 360, uh, 360,000 naira. Mr. Sonny is going to be having a remain of about one, okay, okay. This you have, you take this one, you have 200, you take this one, it's going to be having 190,000 naira. 190,000 naira. Wow, this is not a rocket science. This only can come to fruition if someone desire or have a passion to increase the source of income. There is no job you ever do, there's no job, no matter where you work, that you'll be able to have an average, uh, an average of this return on your investment.